Yo, it's your boy Humble, and I'm gonna get right to the point. If you are clicking on this video today, you're looking on how to edit 10 times faster on keyboard and mouse in one week. And you might be saying to yourself, this is impossible. You've been going through video after video. Well, let me tell you something. Most of the YouTube videos you guys watch are complete cap. They're BS. They're people who don't know what they're talking about. You came to the right place, bro. I just want to say before we get into this video, thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers, guys. It literally means the world to me, man. Road to 100K. And yeah, I'm about to teach y'all all the tricks, all the secrets that I know. This works for keyboard and mouse on console or just regular keyboard and mouse on PC. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoy. If it's helpful, make sure you comment, sub, all that. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So getting right into my first tip, and this is a super important thing that you're not going to hear anywhere else. Stop doing edit courses. They are hurting you. They're not helping you. Okay, guys, unless you're specifically trying to become an edit course player, like I don't hear of that very often, but if you want to flex just edit courses and that's your thing, or you're doing a channel around edit courses, that's the only exception here. But guys, if you want to learn how to build and edit, like you see not luck doing cultures do, you guys need to stop doing edit courses. They actually hurt your timing. And I'm sure you guys might be able to understand why I'll explain it. So if you guys are doing an edit course, all of the walls and that you're editing and the stairs and everything, the cones, everything you're editing is already pre-built. So you're not practicing the timing of having to place builds and then edit builds, place builds, edit builds, place builds, edit builds. You're not practicing that timing. You're only editing, editing, editing. So you're not getting the right timing in. It is messing up your muscle memory. It's a huge mistake that a ton of people make. All right, guys, getting right into tip number two, and this is going to be a quick one. Make sure you're using edit on release if you're single edit bind. I'm assuming most people clicking on this video today are going to be single edit bind editors. You edit with one edit bind i'm telling you right now turn on edit on release at all cost it's gonna feel a little weird at first it's gonna take some time to get used to it will pay off so much guys i'm telling you right now basically all edit on release is if you guys don't know actually is you're just taking one click out of your progression when you're editing it is making you a whole click faster that you don't have to do edit on release means the second you let go of your f key you're editing so this is just taking one key one click out of your progression it is better all the way it's not even close guys make sure you turn that on all right, guys, getting right into my third tip, and this is going to be a huge one for learning how to quad edit like you guys see Not Luck and Cultures do, and even Rift, and all these people, guys, and this is going to be playing with one earphone off when you're practicing. So, guys, this is going to sound like a weird one, and you've probably never heard this before, but I'm telling you, it works wonders. If you only play with one headset or earphone off of your ear, you can listen to the clicks of your keyboard, and it helps your brain recognize the timing so much better to your finger. And this is serious stuff. If you guys try this, I promise every single one of you will see an improvement. Comment down below if you do. If you try this, come back to this video and let me know. I promise you it's a game changer. One earphone off and then practice your clicking, practice your quad edits, practice your triple edits, whatever you can do. Double edit resets. Just listen. Listen with one ear and then hear the game with the other. It will help your brain so much. All right, guys, and another huge thing here, and if you're a regular on my channel, you've heard me talk about this many times, and that is push outside of your comfort zone when you guys are practicing. So if you guys are going to creative every day and you're only practicing edit sequences that you already have mastered or are pretty good at, you're not going to see these huge leaps of improvement in a few short weeks like we're trying to get you guys to. Every single time you get on, don't focus, you know, do a little bit of maintenance time on the things you already know how to do, but the bulk of your time should be spent practicing things that you're going to fail at over and over over and over and that is the game that's what makes you a really good editor at, or anything in life it's what makes you successful is being able to fail at something over and over don't let your ego get in the way don't let your rage get in the way take a deep breath and say this is the journey that everybody has to take if they want to become really good at anything so focus on things that you're not great at focus on your weaknesses in editing and that's what's going to make you great don't sit in your comfort zone all right, guys, and now it's time for probably the most important tip of them all. And this is going to be the understanding that editing is basically just muscle memory. That is all editing is. So because we know this, what should we not do? Change our binds, change our sensitivity overly. We cannot be doing that stuff all the time, guys. It is going to destroy your muscle memory, set you back weeks, months. The best way to improve, you wanna see a 10X improvement. You have to put all these things together, practice hard and don't change anything. Let the muscle memory attack. Now, like I said, the exception here, edit on release is so important if you wanna become a fast editor. If that's not on, you have to turn it on. You have to go through that process of learning on release. It's so important. But besides that, these little nuanced things, you guys are chasing pros, binds, pros sense don't do that if you want to be a fast editor you, you guys can get good on any binds it's been proven by now i know so many guys who have gotten absolutely elite on every type of binds every type of sense wrist players arm players all that stuff guys i promise it's all possible all right guys and for my next tip this is going to actually be experimenting with a ton of different types of creative worlds colors 
um, you know, settings, brightness, uh, different color blinds. You never know what's going to just work for you. The same way there's certain pickaxes that I know you guys absolutely love. It may all be in your head. It may be a placebo, but whatever works, works at the end of the day. So I really recommend because there are certain map settings and I don't even know why that I play like two or three times better on. It's actually insane. And you never know what weird combo is just going to hit it off for you. So I really do recommend that you guys put a lot of time into that. Don't overlook your map settings. There's certain map settings that just click for certain people's minds the way their head works i don't really know why it is but that's just very true it does work that way all right guys and now to string it all together the most important thing that you guys need to have in your mind and learn when you're trying to progress in any video game but especially fast editing in fortnite because it's just so built around this doing a bunch of little things right so you see all these tips that we just laid out we just laid out four five six tips i'm not even keeping trap i'm in the hype i'm in the middle of a ramp we're getting you guys cracked listen all these tips individually aren't going to make a crazy difference. They might make you, you know, solidly better, right? Like, you know, all these tips individually. But if you start to do all these tips at the same time and practice them properly, put all of these things into application at the same time, that's where you get that combining effect of getting two, three, four, even 10 times better if you're really committed, really dedicated. You're putting in all of these things at once. That's the same thing with anything in life. But guys, and, I, and look, okay, you guys might think I take it a little too seriously, but I really want to help you and motivate you and make you understand that if you want to become elite at anything, guys, I played football and basketball at a pretty high level and I loved it. And the number one thing that I noticed is like, all this stuff's the same, bro. Esports, online, anything you want to get good at, it doesn't matter. It's all about the work you put in and doing the little things right over time. That's how you become cracked at anything, bro. I'm serious, guys. So look, take these little tips today that you heard. Maybe watch a couple other Humbo videos. Ah, ha, ha, you know, I got heat. Go check out the Twitch stream, whatever. But put everything that I said together. Do the little things right. Get out of your comfort zone. Practice with an earphone off for 30 minutes. Learn the timing. Do these things right. Experiment with map worlds. Take your time every day to do these things. Seriously, if you combine these tips at the same time and put in hard, hard work, I promise you guys will see a huge improvement from this. And I'm sure other videos that I have will also show you guys a large improvement if you're willing to follow the steps and to, you know sacrifice the time to put into it, obviously. But yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Once again, I'm live on Twitch every single morning. We're pushing for Twitch partner on there. 20K subs on the YT. Let's go, man. It's been an amazing end to the 2020 uh, you know, year. And, uh, I love you guys, man. I really do. I appreciate y'all. Have a great day.